our our model is a little unique compared to others other traditional players in the industry we look at ourselves as a restaurant first that happens to sell convenience to right now. Paul, so let's talk about this. A really interesting potential merger. A Canadian company or takeover wants to buy uh, this company behind 7-Eleven stores. This is absolutely fascinating. Uh, it has made uh, numerous very successful acquisitions over the years. Investors have benefited. The share price of Couchetard has risen over the years as, as it has successfully become bigger through acquisitions. Uh, now we're hearing uh, from the owner of 7-Eleven uh, in Japan, that's a company called 7-I Holdings, that Alimentar Sean Couchetard wants to buy 7-Eleven and the price tag is 31 billion dollars uh, US it would create a, an absolute giant of the convenience store world the combined company would have more than 100,000 stores 7-Eleven says majority of its stores will eventually sell beer wine and coolers for on-site consumption after receiving a green light from the Alcohol and Gaming Commission of Ontario Goodman says they plan to begin rolling out in-store booze to customers through what he describes as a phased approach in 2025 and beyond meanwhile he didn't fully rule out the possibility of a handful of stores allowing in-store drinking before that he says they will include a dining area that is separated from the rest of the store by a meter high wall and in-store booze would be served in that designated area daily between noon to 11 p.m.